morning and it's day four of morning maths here we go again so we are doing the same thing day after day after day that's the idea of this practice 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 that's what builds your accuracy and later your speed in maths just like anything really football running maths whatever it is practice every day is going to make you better so we practice every day so you need a piece of paper and a pencil and work with me copy my workings if you need to go faster than me if you can you know which questions to do, it's written down here. Which questions for each year group? Which questions for each year group? Go beyond your year group if you can. Let's get started with morning maths day four. Let's put uh, cover up cover up these uh, it's a strange box today. Don't know why I don't know why it went like that. Let's go cover those up and go to year three's work first. Fast forward if you need to get to a later year group. The value of the 1 in 212. What's the value of the 1? Well, this is the units or 1's column, the 10's column, and the 100's column. We want the 1. Oh, it's 110. 1t, t for 10. 110. 110. In brackets, of course, 10. And there's your answer. Pause if you need more time to copy down the answer. I'll move on to question 2. We're going to do our column method for addition. 750 plus 250. Some of you might know what this is going to be already. It's a famous number. 250 plus, sorry, 750 plus 250. Pause if you need more time to copy down the question, especially year threes. Zero plus zero is zero. Five plus five is 10. Seven plus two is nine plus one is 10. Oh, it's a thousand. 750 goes with 250 to make a thousand. Let's move on to question three. Question three. 850. We're now on minus. Take away. Take away 750. So we've got some big numbers today in your three. Units, tens, hundreds. If you're year four and you're doing this, try and go faster than me. Check with me at the end if you got it right. Take away zero, take away zero is going to be zero. Five take away five is zero. And eight take away seven is one. One hundred. Pause if you need to copy. Need more time to copy because you should be recording this. And we'll move on to number four. Very important that you record everything every day. The recording really helps you get more accurate and more speed, gain more speed. Two times five is two, is four, is six, and then it's eight, and then it's ten, is ten. Two times five is ten. On to number five. Five divided by five. Well, let's draw five little circles in red this time. There they are. One, two, three, four, five. We do five, and we're going to share them between five people. That's like, oh, that's a bit big. This person here, and this person, and this person, and this person, and this person. We're going to share these five red dots between these five people. Not going to work on a red background. I'm going to work on this color background. So, this person can get one, this person can get one, this one can get one. They're like a big bouncy ball, or a space hopper maybe, and this one can get one. Oh, they all got one. That's because five divided by five, five shared out between five is one. So if I had five space hoppers, I shared them between five children, every child would get one space hopper. Pause if you need to copy. Let's move on to the year four work, the year four level work. Some year threes will still do this, and year five should be warming up on this at the start. What's the value of the 1 in 4,135? 4,135. What's the value of the 1? Okay, units, also called 1s, 10s, and 100s. It's worth 100s, and there's one of them. So 100 is the answer. 100. I'm going to write the number form in brackets, 100. Zero, zero. One zero zero, a three digit number, isn't it? One, two, three digit number. One hundred is worth, of course, one hundred. Pause if you need to copy. Let's do number seven. This is addition. 
If you've been going for a while now, you might notice something about the answers today. Some of you might be thinking there's something strange about the answers today, but we'll carry on. We're on plus. Pause if you need more time to copy down the plus, and then I'm going to start doing the workings. Pop the hats on this time. Units, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Zero plus zero is zero. Five plus five is ten. Seven plus two is nine, isn't it? Yep, plus one is ten. Well, I've carried mine above the line that time. Doesn't really matter, I'll stay consistently below. As long as you know where you're carrying it, it doesn't matter that much where you carry it. Two plus seven is nine, plus a one is ten. Ten thousand, that is. Two thousand seven hundred fifty, we added something, so it got bigger, it became ten thousand. If you put a comma in, it goes three from the end. One, two, three from the end, here. 10,000 is the answer. Okay, pause if you need to copy that and we'll move on to number eight. Question eight at year four level is 1057. Make sure your zeros look like a zero, not like a six or anything. That wasn't too bad, but I always want to make sure our digits look correct. 1057, is that what I said? 1057, yep take away 957. Oh, this is going to be 100. I can see that, but I'm going to check it using the column method anyway. 7 take away 7 is 0. 5 take away 5 is 0. 0 take away 9. What? I'm kind of doing a little trick here. I just do 10 take away 9 is 1. That's what it's going to be. But when we do the borrowing, borrow this, goes down to a 0. 1 comes here. 10 take away 9 is 1 and nothing at the front. So it's 100. 1057 minus 957 is 100. I'm going to move on to number 9. Multiply 250 by 4. I'll start with the grid method, like I always do in year 4. Bit of a messy grid. I'm not using a ruler, but I should at least try to get it straight along the line. Times. You should use a ruler, especially in your books at school. Multiply 250 by 4. I'll write the question out. 250 multiply means times. Multiply 250 by 4. Now smash up this 250. There's two hundreds, as you can see. There's five tens. There's actually no units. So two hundreds is 200. This connects to our place value work, doesn't it? Which is question 6 and question 1, place value work. 200 and... 50, 5 tens is 50, and there's no units this time, which is nice, makes it easier. Times that by 4. Okay, let's go for blue in here. 4 times 2 is 8. If I'm going too fast, always just pause the video so you can catch up, because I know there's lots of writing. But it is important to write it all, so it's worth pausing and getting it done. 4 times 2 is 8, place two zeros. Because 4 lots of 200, 4 times 200 is 800. Over here. 4 times 5 is 20, and then there's one zero to place, 200. So we have two answers, this one and this one. We need to add them up to get our total answer. Total is add, anyway. 800 plus 200, that's going to be 1,000. You could use column method if you need to, but I'm pretty sure 800 plus 200 is going to be 1,000. I will check by doing the standard method for multiplication, which is this which does the adding up as we go along. 250 times 4. 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. It definitely is 1,000. And if you've been keeping an eye on the answers, you won't be surprised, because all the answers have zeros on them today, don't they? I think that's right. Let's move on to year 5. Number 11. Value of the 1 in this massive number here, which is 7 million... 813,323. The one's what they want, so let's go with the hats. Units, tens, hundreds, thousands, and it is in the tens of thousands. It means there's a lot to write today because it's one ten thousand. That's what that one is worth. One ten thousand. If you don't know how to spell thousands, there it is, one ten thousand. In the form of digits, 
copy the one underneath and place zeros to the end. This is an easier way of getting the answer really because both of these answers are fine and you'll see it's 10,000. So this answer is fine in words, one ten thousand, and this answer is fine completely in digits, 10,000, as they are the same. That one is worth one ten thousand. Okay, let's move on to number 12. This is addition, decimal plus a decimal. They both have two digits, so they should line up quite simply actually. 5.7, line up the decimal point always in plus, if there is one, 4.3. 5.7 plus 4.3. 7 and 3 is 10. 5 and 4 is 9 plus 1 is 10. 10.0, otherwise known as 10. Both are correct, 10.0 or 10, because they're the same thing. 10 point nothing is the same as 10. Pause if you need to copy those workings. And we're going on to number 13. I didn't put the question number here, did I? Always should put my question number. Always. Go on to number 13. 13 is takeaway. I'll switch my brain to takeaway because I've just been doing plus. I don't want to accidentally do plus again. I'm sure you've done that before. Accidentally done the wrong sign. Need to keep an eye on that, make sure we do the right sign. 5,087, take away 4,987. 7 take away 7 is nothing. 8 take away 8 is nothing. This is going to be 50, take away 49 is 1. But if we do the borrowing, it goes down to a 4. 10 take away 9, that gives us that 1. 4 take away 4 is nothing. You could put a 0, but of course you don't need it. The answer is 100. And we're going on to number 14. Pause if you need that one. Number 14, multiply 2,500 by 4. This is going to be 10,000, but I'm going to take the chance to do it in my head, which has said 10,000, and to do it on paper and see what that says. Hopefully it will say 10,000 as well. So 4 times 0 was 0, 4 times 0 was 0, 4 times 5 is 20, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. Yep, it is 10,000. I'll have a double check if I do it in my head and on paper. If you can do things on your head, do them in your head and on paper, and you get your double check. The more times you do it, the faster you'll get. And it really won't be a hassle doing it on paper because you'll be so fast. Let's move on to number 15. How many fives in 500,000? You may or may not know this. I'm pretty sure it's going to be 100,000, but I'm going to use the bus stop to check. Make sure you've copied the right number of zeros. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five zeros. 500,000 divided by five. So how many fives fit into five? Exactly one. How many fives in zero is zero? How many fives in zero is always going to be zero? And you can see the answer will be 100,000. That's what my prediction was, 100,000. Time to move on to the year six level work. Number 16. What's the value of the one in this massive number? Well, actually, this number isn't that massive. Not as massive as I thought it was when I first looked at it because it has a decimal in. So it's actually 180 and a bit, isn't it? It's not that big compared to some we've worked with. 180 and a bit. I always put the point up if I'm doing my hats. Units is before the point. Get that units in the right place and hopefully you'll then be able to get everything else in the right place. We want the value of the one, so I don't really need to do the decimal hats this time because they just want the value of the one and it's 100. 100, I'll write the word 100. Sorry, that's a bit messy. 100 and in brackets 100. That's the value of that one. Don't be fooled and think it's... 100,000, because it's not, because of the decimal point being there. Let's move on to question 17. This, these numbers are not that hard in year 6. It's adding four numbers. 25 added four times. 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25. It's like writing out, it's like the 25 times table, 25 times 4, which is 25, 50, 75, 100. The answer's going to be 100, but I'm going to check on paper. 5, 5, 5 and 5, or 5 times 4 is 20. 2, 4, 6, 8 plus 2 is 10. It is 100. Four twenty-fives go together to make 100. That's something that's worth learning. 
every year in the SATs is something to do with the 25 times table. By the way, we sometimes call addition, we sometimes call multiplication repeated addition. Because when you add this 25, 1, 2, 3, 4, when you add 4 25s, it's the same as doing 25 times 4. That's why we can call times repeated addition. Let's move on to number 18. Reduce, we've had this word a few days in a row. It'll be changing soon, but let's just get reduce into our heads. Reduce 100,000 by 90,000. And take away, you want the biggest number at the top. This is take away, isn't it? Yep, reduce is take away. See how I'm just always checking what I do? Because I know me, and I know I'll mess things up if I don't check. Sometimes I mess things up even when I do check. So I have to be very careful. 100,000, take away 90,000. Right, this isn't going to be difficult because 0 take away 0 is 0 a lot of times. 0 take away 0, 0 take away 0, okay. 10 take away 9 is going to be 1 here. But if I do the borrowing, to be sure, 10 take away 9 is 1 and 0 at the front is 10,000. So reduce 100,000 by 90,000, the answer is 10,000. Doing that in my head, I get the same, so I'm pretty sure that's right. And we move on to number 19, multiplication, 125 times 8, 125 times 8. Column method for this, standard column method. I wonder if you can predict what the answer is going to be, especially based on everything I've been doing with the answers so far today, if you've noticed. 8 times 5 is 40. There's been a lot of zeros today, hasn't there? 8 times 2 is 16, plus 4 is 20. There's another zero. 8 times 1 is 8, plus a 2 is 10, and we get 1,000. 125 times 8 is 1,000. That was number 20. Pause if you need time to copy the workings. Always get these workings down every day. It makes you more accurate, and it makes you faster, and that's what you need. You need speed and accuracy. Let's share 32,000 between 32. 32,000 divided by 32, it's pretty sure it's going to be 1,000. Squeeze that in. How many, well this is, um, this is a strange little bus stop because we are doing, we're divided by two digits, which I might often call long division, but in this case it's not actually going to be that hard. How many 32s into 3 doesn't work, but you carry the 3 and you see you've got a nice 32. 32 fits into 32 exactly once and the rest are zero. So the answer is 1,000. So even though it may have looked like a difficult division, it's actually not because you had 32 here and 32 here. And it was going to fit exactly into it. So 32,000, when you share 32,000 between 32, you get 1,000. That's the answer. Let's have a look at all the answers. Some days I've forgotten to put these on. And you can see what happened with all the answers today. They were all... 1 or 10 or 100 or 1,000 or 10,000 or even 100,000. So that's what happened with the answer today. So check over what you've done and what I've done and hopefully I'll see you next time. Pause this if you need to look at this here, if you need to look at your answers.